Welcome everyone, this is a pill of knowledge from Baskern, HTAT group, related to monitoring of the aorta in heritable thoracic aortic disease. I'm Gisela Teixidor, cardiologist from Val d'Hebron, Barcelona, specialized in imaging and aortic diseases. The aorta is the biggest vessel of the body. It starts at the level of the aortic valve and from there the blood goes to the rest of the body. The aorta has many arterial branches to the upper extremities, the head, the thorax and abdomen and ends with a bifurcation at the lower extremities. For this, it is obvious that the aorta is a crucial artery of the body. The aorta is divided in different parts, the descending aorta, the aortic arch and the descending aorta. And the descending aorta can be divided also in thoracic and abdominal aorta. Many genetic diseases that affect the aorta have a predominance for the ascending aorta and specifically for the aortic root. The aortic root is the first part of the aorta just above the aortic valve. Also important at this level, there is the emergence of the coronary arteries, the arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle, the myocardium. Therefore, on the evaluation and follow-up of patients with HTAD, imaging techniques are crucial to study the aorta. There are three main non-invasive imaging techniques that are echocardiography, cardiac computed tomography, and cardiac magnetic resonance. Echocardiography is a non-invasive test based on ultrasounds with no side effects. The test is done with a proof and a gel that is passed over the anterior left part of the thorax with the patient being on a lateral position. By this, we can obtain images of the aortic root, the aortic valve, and most part of the sending aorta. With the echo, we can explore also the aortic arch and parts of the descending aorta and the abdominal aorta, as you can see here. However, the visualization is not totally complete. The echo is also useful to have information on the aortic and mitral valve functioning and also about the left ventricle function. After the acquisition of the echo, measurement of the size of the aorta can be obtained at different levels. In the follow-up of patients, aortic diameter is crucial to determine the time to indicate prophylactic surgery. Cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, is an imaging technique done on the basis of a magnetic field. It is done in the department with a machine and the patient is placed inside it. It takes around 30 to 40 minutes. Sometimes a line is needed to administer contrast in the vein. This contrast is different than the one used on the CT tests. MRI is a technique that allows a complete three-dimensional evaluation of the aorta from the aortic root to the bifurcation and also the branches of the aorta. Cardiac CT is also a three-dimensional technique that in many cases has a better spatial resolution than MRI. However, it uses X-rays, what implies irradiation to the patient. Combination of echo, CT, MRI is used for the follow-up of these patients, being echo the most frequently used technique. First, because it is excellent for the evaluation of the most frequently affected part of the aorta, the aortic root, and also because of its availability. From time to time, CT or MRI are also obtained in these patients to have a more complete three-dimensional visualization of the aorta. Comparison of diameters obtained by echo, CT and MRI might be sometimes challenging as there's an intrinsic variability of these techniques and different spatial resolution. So in general, differences below three millimeters should be interpreted with caution and by a specialist in multimodality imaging of the aorta. 